one will be one. And if Benson, we're just the two like this, make it effort to do all this thing, make it stop. It's painful. 27 years old. It's a 55 days today. I know if you talk with my boy. I know if you look at a boss. I bet just a boss. A boss. When I remember the I'm not can. I'm not can kiss her. I'm not can talk to her. Just to look her for picture. Just to look her for picture. Please, I need government to help me. I need government to help and be wisdom. This boy, he look back. It's me. He look front. It's me. Nobody can call unless God. After the God is me. First, must be free, and if the rich thought they can sleep fine with uh, why they, they they poor are awake, we want to tell them today that they cannot sleep because we the poor and the masses, our eyes is open. Very soon, it is the poor today. It will soon get. All of us will join hand and make sure we torment them. So that is the problem we have we, uh, of this country. And that is a plight of Nigeria parents today. Apart from Afaka, uh, Greenfield University children, today is a deadline that was given by the bandit to eliminate the remaining 17 children that are in their custody. And nobody seems to say anything. So we are calling on the legislators, we are calling on federal government, we are calling on the state government, we are calling on every well-meaning Nigerian to come to our aid. Well, and we don't have anywhere to go. We are only looking to God. That is why. And God cannot come down from heaven and do things for us. He uses people. Okay. So we are praying that the government will come to our assistance. Since all this was not, we never even knew that this thing would even reach three days. But now it's 55 days. Nothing has been done. We don't know anything about our children. Like it was rightly said, we find that our own children we are kidnapped. Today is 55 days. You are aware of the incidents of uh, Greenfield. We have three, five children we are killed. In fact, the day the first three students were killed, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep throughout because I was just imagining probably my own, my own, our own children would be next. And look at it. Up to now, nothing has been done. So that.
government they are not doing anything they say they can't do anything even the ministry of environment who is the supervisor ministry of the of the school they are not doing anything even the director general of the, they are not doing anything so we are uh, even the, the minister he even traveled he, he, he went to america to, to spend uh, his salary with his family so they are not doing anything so we are here to appeal to you to help us intervene so that uh, we, uh, we can see our children before even tomorrow sir Thank you very much, sir. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Balea Bani. I'm the Deputy Clerk of the National Assembly. Uh, we welcome you all for coming to the People's Parliament. Uh, you have come to the right place. Uh, the Parliament belongs to you. It belongs to the peoples. And therefore, any genuine complaint that is made peacefully uh, by all citizens of this country should be given attention by the parliamentarians. I am a civil servant. I am a civil servant. I come uh, on behalf of the clerk of the National Assembly, who is the administrative head of the National Assembly. Uh, our political leaders, of course, are Mr. President of the Senate and the Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives. Uh, you came here, you know, to the right place. Uh, we have listened to your grievances. I assure you that we empathize with you. All of us have children, and uh, therefore uh, we feel your pain. And I believe that all Nigerians uh, of good morals must you know, feel the pain of our children in captivity. So therefore, uh, I'm not going to make, I'm not a politician, therefore I'm not making a political statement. Uh, I will convey, you know, uh, your demands and your requests uh, to our principal officers, the President of the Senate and the Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives. And I sh assure you that they have listening ears. So together with the parliamentarians, I assure you uh, they will give uh, all the attention and care needed uh, to this uh, uh, problem that is on, on our hands. Therefore, once more, without uh, much ado, I thank all of you for coming to the National Assembly and wish you, you know, a respectful uh, journey back to your various homes.